Hi everybody and welcome to Teen Tuesday. This week we were making sun catchers out of shrinky dinks. You should have two pieces of shrinky dink plastic, a metal ring, and some fishing line. Additionally, you're going to need scissors, a hole puncher, and colorful permanent markers or colored pencils. Using these materials, you can put them together in a whole bunch of different ways. I made two examples to show you how you could attach the materials together in different ways. The first way is using the ring as the base or as the, the hook for hanging your sun catcher. This one is a cloud with raindrops coming down off of it. The other idea is to use it as the center and hang everything from it. So in this example, it's more shaped like, like, a, like a wind chime instead, where all of the pieces are hanging from the central ring. Before we get started on coloring or drying, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the optimal temperature for shrinking our plastic. So we're going to start by looking at the shrinky dink plastic. It has two sides. One side is super glossy and smooth. And the other side is sort of rough. We're going to be coloring on the rough side. You can either draw directly on it or start with a piece of white paper, draw out some shapes first and then trace them onto the shrinky dink plastic um, so that you, you don't make any mistakes on the plastic. Let's go. Once you've finished coloring your shrinky dinks in all the shapes that you'd like and all the colors you'd like, it's time to cut them out. We're going to cut them out and hole punch them before we stick them in the oven because once they go in the oven and shrink, the plastic gets really thick and really hard and it's going to be impossible to do any of that. So when you're cutting them out, remember that if you're going to attach them to each other, you're going to have to punch some holes in the plastic. Using a hole punch is a really good idea. You can either make the choice to cut the object out exactly and then make a hole punch in it, or cut it out and leave extra plastic around the outside and put the hole punch through there. I'll show you what I mean. With this one, you can see that I've put the hole directly in the raindrop and I've cut the plastic exactly to the shape of the raindrop. With this one, I cut out most of the raindrop and then I left a bit of plastic here at the top to put the, rain, the hole through so that with this one, it would actually be hanging from a hole above the raindrop. I think I like this one better though, so I'm going to cut the extra plastic off and put the hole punch in the raindrop but that decision is up to you. Make sure you choose the one that you like the look of the best. Now that I'm done cutting and hole punching, it's time to start shrinking. If you're using a metal baking sheet like I am, it's very important that you line it with something. You do not want to put the shrinky dink plastic directly onto metal in the oven. It's going to stick. Instead, if you're using a metal sheet like this, you're gonna to wanna to put down parchment paper inside the pan or a piece of cardboard. Do not use aluminum foil. So let's arrange the objects on our pan now. You want to lay them down flat, far enough apart that they're not touching each other. They are going to curl up as they're heating up, so make sure that they're far enough apart that they're not gonna to touch each other. That looks good. 
So we're gonna stick them in the oven now for two to three minutes or until they stop curling and shrinking and just lay down flat. Now that all of your pieces are shrunk and cooled off, it's time to start tying them together with the fishing line. So now you have a sun capture.